is Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode two of season two of Rising of the Shield Heroes. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. In a way, I kind of forgot about this because <laughs> things have been on my mind. <laughs> Oh, and here she comes, yet again! Right? Be like, bitch, what? <laughs> a connection to the tortoise let's say she is the tortoise like the spirit of the tortoise the, then why the fuck are you doing this there's so many unanswered questions with this like oh my god i don't know <laughs> i don't know how to feel i i mean like oof like seriously kana is literally acting like fucking um Rika from Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, like I said last week, because the way how she's bringing this role is very similar to uh, Rika's demon form in the movie. And so I'm like, ma'am, ma'am, it's been several weeks since I've seen this movie. I don't want to, you know, because I really want to go see it again, but I think really here, um, I think it's gone. I don't know. It's been a while since I've tried <laughs> But it was so good. And it's just like when I had a friend, I was like, yeah, I was like, hey, did you go see it? They were like, no. And I was just like, why? But see, hold on, wouldn't it be smart to go ahead and just, you know, warn the people, whatever big ass popular city, town, whatever, and be like, hey, get the fuck out or you're all gonna die. but only one of the four wants to help.
you know what she kind of reminds me of? Um, what the fuck was her name in freaking Don Machi? Oh my god, I'm blanking. <laughs> oh shit, I'm not gonna remember it till the end of this episode. Hell, her voice even sounds like that character in freaking Don Machi. So wouldn't one of them be that girl that we talked about in like season one? Oh, okay, never mind. Really? What the fuck did I call that? What the? Deja? What the fuck? Oh, what well, damn. But see, the biggest question is who would do it? Uh, you know what? Probably that guy that was talking shit last week.
you had to question yourself first. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, all right. Now, but then why the fuck were you talking about last week? Kill me, ma'am. Ma'am. <laughs> All right, who the fuck is that? No, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, the baby's about to have a moment. Stop. <laughs> Mm. 
Yeah, so why don't you just listen to him? <laughs> I can't. I know, he just calms, she just calms him. Oh, the show is just like, hey, you want to go watch Bunny Girl stuff play again? Yeah, I mean, then just use the bombs. We ain't got to sacrifice people, Jesus. Hmm. <laughs> no. Like, okay, hold on. Let's be a little smart about this. What if something backfires? Like, really? What if something happens? Because, I mean, we only have, like, how many minutes we got? We got three minutes left. Also, three minutes. <laughs> uh. She won! <laughs>
one and how, of course, yes, Nalfumi and Raftalia got, like, the main focus in the endings. That's so weird. Because, baby, like, oh, my God. <laughs> She's so fucking cute. I can't. Okay. So, <laughs> of course, the tortoise would wait until the last minute of this episode to pop up. But, like, okay. As they kept saying, like, okay, if we kill it, chop off its head. What the hell is going to happen? Uh, what's her face? Like, is she going to die and stuff? Because there's <laughs> hello <laughs> there's something because she's a part of the tortoise and the same thing with all the other you know tortoise like the the bats and the freaking uh gorillas and everything that it's created to use like as little freaking things and such and they all go to fucking die there's a lot of unanswered questions this is only episode two for christ's sake um, number two, once again, Eclair, she sounds like What's-Her-Face once again from Don Machi. I literally cannot remember her name, for Christ's sake, but when she kept saying Dono, and I'm like, I've heard that before, and then I'm listening to her voice a little bit more, and I'm like, I feel like I've heard this woman before. So if she is her, then you know, hey, we bring in everybody into this show from Don Machi, so I'm not surprised and such, but like, yeah, what? what? <laughs> I don't even know what else to say about this. I mean, this episode, like, it was slow paced, but then it did pick up, and it, it just felt like it, it did go quick. I, I will say that it did go quick because it felt like once I said we got to that three minute mark, I'm like, we already got three minutes. Like, damn, damn, <laughs> I can't, but I mean. It makes me think, like, there's got to be another way to kill this tortoise without killing Ost. That's the biggest thing. And what it could be is, like, so many different possibilities. Then you have the crystal and the guy who was looking at the crystal. Who the fuck was that? And what does he have to do with a th what the fuck is going on? Like, is he the one who woke the tortoise up before he was supposed to be awoke and such? Once again, a lot of unanswered freaking questions. And, you know, we're only week two into this show. And I'm over here like, you know, um, show. Bit, bit, shut the fuck up. Um, you know, show. Can I have an answer now? And then, you know, once again, I want to say <laughs> people who've read the light novel kind of give me answers without spoiling me because you know I want to know but at the same time I don't that's like okay <laughs> that's like all right all right all right so like if any of my subscribers like I said you know we better go into Kingdom Hearts ish territory like if my if I knew someone if any of my subscribers says hey you know queen I want to get into Kingdom Hearts you know that's gonna be a good day where I'm gonna be like all right so here we go and such but it's not gonna be me like let me spoil, like, this, this, that, and the third and stuff, where, like, if you've seen the current Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer that came out over the weekend, where people are looking at a certain character, and they're like, who the fuck is this bitch right here? And you got little old me over here, like, oh, I know who the fuck that is. Like, mmm, like, y'all ain't ready for her and her little backstory in it. Or when you're trying to connect certain things and you're wondering, like, well, why is this and this connected to this? And you know the reason why. So, yeah, you know, I'm over here like, why is this like this? And, you know, the light novel people, they over here looking on the sideline. Oh, if you only fucking knew and such. So, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I'm a little fucking curious, you know, because I feel like the person who talked shit last week is the dude who looked at the crystal. So I feel like he's the one who's behind everything right now. But what's his motive that's the thing if it is him or if it's someone else we haven't seen are we going to see them eventually later on in this series and such then when they were talking about the seven heroes when and then we got to see them are there going to be others featured later on into this series then also let's talk about the girl that we all talked about that i kind of talked about a little bit in this episode but really more going into um, season one, I think, because there's one extra person, this was a while ago that I heard about this, where I don't know if she's really, like, strictly in, quote-unquote, the manga series of this show, or she's just, like, one of those characters that they're not really going to talk about up until, like, a certain point into the arc, but I I'm guessing, like, she's supposed to be the fifth hero 
is she going to make an appearance in this show? Because I, I, I think I asked in season one, and then I think I got my answer. I don't remember because, once again, it's been, like, fucking forever since the show came out. So, yeah, I'm going to ask that question again. Is she going to make an appearance? And if she does, is she going to make it by the end of season two, lingering on to, like, season three, whenever the hell season three gets announced? And then, funny enough, they might put her in Isekai Quartet, because I feel like all these characters we're looking at right now, it is... <laughs> now for me's group, they're all gonna be in Isekai Quartet when when that ish comes out, probably maybe what later on this year, possibly even more next year, because we all know that got confirmed for a fucking season three. And we're all sitting around waiting when the fuck that's gonna pop up. But other than that, today's episode was really good. I enjoyed it a lot. But other than that, that is my reaction to review tour episode I can't speak. Towards episode two of season two of Rising of the Shield Hero. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And of course, I will see you guys probably next Wednesday. I don't know if I work next Wednesday because like the schedule that my boss has, like it's eh. And we're, <laughs> all of us who are currently at work, we're looking like, what the fuck is this? But I won't really know if I'm home on Wednesday. Yes, I will be here and I'll record it and get it out ASAP. Um, if not, I'll record it when I get home at, at 6 or 7 and then get it out. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.